t of n is equal to 5 times t of n over 5 plus 5n, and where t of 1 is equal to 25. Let's use backward substitution to solve for t of n. So starting with t of n over 5, we're going to plug in n over 5 in for n here to have 5 times and then 5 times t of n over 5 squared plus 5 times n over 5 and then plus 5n. Now the 5's here are going to cancel but the 5 is going to multiply the n here so it's 5n and then plus another 5n. So it's going to be two copies of 5n's and then 5 times 5 here is 5 squared and then we have times t of n over 5 squared. Now I purposely left it in terms of exponents because eventually we want to get it down to like the kth iteration of this. So we just repeat the process and now we plug in n over 5 squared in for n here to get 5 cubed times t of n over 5 cubed plus 3 times 5 to the n. Notice in our third iteration we have the exponents here. They're all 3 so if we do this k times we just replace 3 with k. Now we want to eliminate t of n over 5 to the k so what we want is for n to equal 5 to the k. So solving for k we have ln of n over ln of 5 and we plug that back in for k. Now 5 raised to the ln of n over ln of 5 is n because that's what we solve here for k. So that becomes n over n which is 1 and now 5 to the ln of n over ln of 5 these two are the same which we said is n so that's why we have an n in front so it's n times t of 1 plus ln of n over ln of 5 times 5 to the n or times 5 n now t of 1 is equal to 25 so we're going to make that substitution and get our final answer as 25 n plus ln of n over ln of 5 times 5n.